two nations have already made it through to round three in the World Cup qualifying campaign over in Africa. But who will join them and who will go out? We've got match number five coming at you next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video today. We're looking forward to match to number 5.2. That's right, as of course, the African qualifying campaign returns for, of course, Qatar 2022. Who's going to go through? Who's going to go out? We'll take a close look in a minute. Of course, a big, big shout out to my VIPs. Of course, thank you for your support behind the scenes. Of course, if you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe as we come. We're bringing a bang up today with all things World Cup related, Black and Rose related, world football itself related. All right, folks, so let's take a little look. Let's show, of course, the games that did take place last time. Of course, these were back in October. Again, we didn't predict them, but of course, we got the results. So, yeah. Anyway, Kenya did lose to Mali. Unfortunately, Kenya are going nowhere. My brother's from another mother. Unfortunately, they ain't going to go nowhere. Of course, Uganda uh, picked up a winner over Rwanda, uh, of course, to give themselves an outside sniff. I think Benin picked up a loss against Tanzania, though. Surprise, surprise there. Madagascar uh, beat uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Burkina Faso did beat uh, Djibouti. Niger lost to Algeria, of course, one of the uh, the teams to avoid, or the nations to avoid. Zimbabwe lost to Ghana again, the, the, of course, as they try to get a little bit closer to making another World Cup. South Africa, though, picked up a cheeky win over Ethiopia 1-0. Namibia my boys again, uh, Ryan Nimi will not be going to the World Cup as uh, Senegal picked up a 3-1 win and Congo uh, lost to Togo uh, of course in their respective group. But of course those are the games that were last time around. Let's take a look at of course the Prediction League which of course we didn't really do anything last time around but of course we're going to continue where we did left, leave it off. So any predictions in between the old, the last time we did it and now avoid. We're not doing them. We're not even touching them. We're not even looking at them. Uh, but this is the table that we will spring forward from. Hans Worst is your man at the moment of course kicking ass and taking names. Eight duties in second of course Iman Hussein is in third. So from here on in it's from here and then uh, we're going to get cracking so let's get into it then shall we of course before that let's take a look at the tables of course uh, Algeria leading the charge at the moment with Burkina Faso in group A Tunisia in charge in B with three points clear of Ecuador Guinea with only six on the horizon meanwhile Nigeria go back there Nigeria are in charge in group C so they could be on the cusps of we'll getting through to the next round uh, Ivory Coast and Cameroon going to duke it out in group D Mali though in charge in group E Egypt are running away with it in group F four points clear at the moment uh, as well. Group G, C, South Africa and Ghana are locking horns, of course, into a very, very uh, stressful couple of days uh, for them. Senegal, they are home and host, I think, as are Morocco. Uh, They're home and host, and of course, into the next stage. And Tanzania, Benin, uh, in, in charge at the moment in J. Very, very tight in Group J. It could all change over there. So anyway, we're going to get into the deep end then, of course, look forward to these games, which I believe will take place around about the 11th of uh, November. We can kick it all off there with Uganda. I guess my boys Kenya, that's right. Uh, of course, I'm going to hope in hell, but of course, they'll go for it. Anyway, they finished the four times 216. No wins apiece, of course, four draws. Uganda coming in unbeaten last four games, 50% forward for them right now. Meanwhile, Kenya have um, won in f uh, just one win in five. In fact, one win in six, 42% forward for them at the moment. A pretty, pretty shitty at the moment. Last time around, though, over in Uganda was the 0 0 draw, of course, back in uh, August 2016. Uganda did beat Rwanda last time around. Of course, Kenya did lose to Mali last time around. Got no odds on this one, so we're going to go with the gut. My gut says Kenya, just because my heart says Kenya, really. But unfortunately, they're probably going to lose it. I'm going to go with the one new win there for Kenya. Stick to my boys, stick to my guns. But regardless, it ain't gonna do jack as they're gonna probably they're not gonna make it to the next stage. Uh, it's already confirmed. I think a team's already there. Anyway, let's kick it off over then to the next one. It'll be Rwanda up against Mali. Uh, of course, let's get into this one now. Of course, taking place on the same day. That's uh, so of course November the 11th. And uh, now these two sides play each other three times to 13. Two wins for Mali, one, uh, nothing for Rwanda, and one draw. Of course, Rwanda coming to just one win in the past six games, 32% for me. You are Mali unbeaten the last four games, pick up three wins and a draw to boot. Of course, that's the round over in Rwanda. That was a two-win for Mali. That was back in uh, March 2013. Mali did beat Kenya last round. Of course, Uganda did beat Rwanda last round. Uh, of course, so uh, Rwanda had been last time that they won. Uh, when was the last time they won? The last time they won was against Mozambique uh, way back when in uh, March 2021. I think Mali will win this one 2 to win quite comfortably to take it. Uh, and of course, move ever closer, if not already, to the next stage. Kicking off forward, though, it'll be Ethiopia up against Ghana, of course, on November 11th as well. Played each other four times in 2014. Four wins to Ghana, and have Ethiopia and no draws. Of course, uh, uh, Ethiopia coming to this. Um, what do we look at? One win in the past four games, 33% form for them right now. Meanwhile, Ghana coming to this just one defeat past five. And then 58% form for them in the moment. Uh, last round over in the Ethiopia was a 2 win for Ghana. That was back in November 2018. Of course, Ghana picked up a win over Zimbabwe last round. Ethiopia did lose to South Africa last round. Of course, this is over in Group G. I'm going to go with a win for Ghana, though. 2 1 win on the road. Uh, three points in the bag. And of course, put a bit of pressure on their nearest and dearest South Africa, of course, who take on uh, Zimbabwe this coming uh, week as well. Play each other four times in 2010. One win for South Africa, two wins for Zimbabwe, and one draw. South Africa come to this 92% uh, form, just one a blip on the resume, one draw in the past six. In fact, they haven't lost. In the last 10 home matches 
Uh, they actually won three in a row. Meanwhile, Zim Zimbabwe comes in without a win in at nine. So, they're, of course, they're struggling. 8% form for them right now. That's around over in South Africa. So, 2-1 win for Zimbabwe. That's back in uh, September 2013. In fact, Zimbabwe unbeaten uh, in the last three matches up against South Africa. Of course, looking at the head on this one, uh, last time around, South Africa did beat Ethiopia. Of course, Zimbabwe did lose to Ghana last round. I've got no odds again. Go with my gut. Go my, my gut says South Africa would soon win at home. No problems there. Kicking off forward, we have Congo up against Namibia, my boy, my boy Ny Nyambes. Uh, Namibia, of course, plays other just the one time since 2021. Of course, no wins for Congo the last six. Of course, uh, three draws and three defeats. Uh, they haven't won in the last seven up against Namibia. Just one win in six for them. 32% born for them at the moment. Of course, that's around over in uh, they played each other. Was in Namibia. It was a one-one draw back in September. Of course, Namibia did lose to Senegal last round. Of course, uh, uh, Congo uh, Democratic Republic or the Congo Congo Republic did lose to Togo last time round. Going to go with my guts. My guts says now I am base. Going to score as well. Two more win uh, for Namibia to break the hoodoo. And then into Togo up against Senegal. Same group on this one. Same match day as well as of course I've got this. It looks like I've got this organised at long last. Anyway, these two side finishes are two times in 2005. One with for Senegal. One draw. Nothing for Togo. Togo coming to this. Uh, what are we looking at? Uh, three defeats past six games. 42% form for them right now. Meanwhile, Senegal just one defeat past six. 83% form for them at the moment. Last round though, of course, was in Senegal. Was a two-nil win. That was back in September. Uh, of course, Senegal did beat Namibia last round. Of course, Togo did beat Congo, the Congolese Republic, last round. Going with my gut, my gut says Senegal three-nil win at home to, of course, seal the deal. You would think uh, with one game left, you're probably over the line there. Next up, of course, we have Tanzania up against uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now these two sides played each other just at one time. And that was, of course, the reverse fixture. Tanzania came to just one defeat the past six games, looking good at the moment. Seventy-five percent form for them right now. As for uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, just one defeat the past four for them. Uh, more than one defeat, one one one. One, one to be a past four. Yes, 50% form for them right now. Last time around, of course, they did draw 1-1. One, one. Of course, the reverse fixture. Of course, Tanzania did beat Benin. Last round, of course, uh, Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, lost to Madagascar. Last round. Tight one, this one. Going to go with a 2-0 win for the away team, which is probably wrong. I'll go the other way. Go the other way. I'm telling you now. Uh, going for Tanzania on this one. They should win this one. Uh, next, of course, we have Benin up against Madagascar. Same match day. As well, uh, of course, uh, Rudy Gustav's Benin up against Madagascar. Now, the played each other just the one time. Of course, it was a reverse fixture. Benin comes this just one to beat the past four games for them. 50% uh, form for them right now. Madagascar just one win in six. 25% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around, it was a one win in Madagascar uh, for Benin. Benin did lose to Tanzania, though. Of course, Madagascar picked up a win over the Democratic Republic of Congo. Go, 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 go says Rudy Gustav, 2 1 win for Benin on this. Final two now, of course, for this match day, of course, is Burkina Faso up against Niger. That's right. Of course, on November the 11th as well. Uh, uh, where the heck are you? Where the heck are you? Oh, it's actually on the 12th. It's on the 12th. Sneaky beaky. That's right. I thought I had it under control. Anyway, played each other three times in 2013. Three wins out of three for Burkina Faso. Nothing for Nigeria, of course. Coming into this, uh, Burkina Faso unbeaten in the last four games. Picking up three wins to draw to boot up against Nigeria. Just one to win in the past six games. So then 25% form. Last time around over in Nigeria was a 2-0 win for, uh, in fact, last time around, uh, Burkina Faso was a 4-0 win for Burkina Faso. Goodness gracious me, how times have changed. Burkina Faso coming to this 2-0 win on Djibouti. Of course, Nigeria did lose to Algeria last time around. No odds on this one, on, of course. Going to go with the 0-0 draw, though. But you realistically. Realistically, you've got to go with Burkina Faso at home. Nigeria have been shite. Uh, and then finally, Djibouti up against Algeria again on the same match day as the previous one. Burkina Faso, that of course will be on the 12th. Um, uh, Djibouti uh, played Algeria just the one time since 2021. Of course, it was one win and one for Algeria. Algeria comes to this, haven't lost their last 32 games. It's world football. Well, I think they're either the longest or the one of the very longest. And beaten runs in world football at the moment. Djibouti, though, haven't won in the last six. Of course, they come into this 8% form. Of course, Algeria, 92% form for them at the moment. Last round, of course, was in Algeria. It was the reverse fixture. Just a cheeky 8 0 win for Algeria on this one. Of course, Algeria comes into the back of that 4 0 win over Nigeria. Of course, uh, Djibouti comes into the back of that 2 0 win, a 2 0 loss, sorry, over Burkina Faso. They haven't scored uh, in back to back games, though. So uh, they ain't going to win this one, are they? 3 0 win. It could be, it could be 7. Who knows? Who knows? Algeria could be. Who don't want to go 7 0? I know, I know from first hand. Anyway, 3 0 win for Algeria on the road. And again, if they're not there, if they're not there now there they'll be there of course at the end of this match of course we'll look forward to match number six part one and part two on the channel of course make sure you check out the part two to the video as well but that my friends is just about that be sure to get your picks and of course use the code here cut the port slash wc 22 africa boys and girls of course we're looking forward to it we'll be back when the prediction leave is live and active and of course we'll continue on it all the way through to the world cup itself so make sure you get your picks in here and of course we'll look forward to seeing what you got next time around but until then give us some love and smash your thumbs up smash your subscribe check the links down below on twitter twitch facebook and of course patreon as well but until then folks i'll see you soon until then folks we're done